Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do transitions in iMovie for the iPad, the iPhone, and the iPod Touch. All right, go ahead and tap on the iMovie icon to open it up. We're going to start a new project by tapping on the plus sign. Next, tap on Movie. And I'm going to find some clips here. So let's go ahead and grab this one, this one, and this one. After you've selected a clip you want, go ahead and tap on Create Movie. All right, what iMovie is going to do is it's going to drop these three clips or however many clips you, you've added into the timeline. And it's going to automatically give you a dissolve transition. So you'll notice that there's nothing before and there's nothing at the end. So in between each clip, there will be a transition. And if you want to change the transitions, go ahead and tap on the icon. And you have a few choices down here. You have none theme which defaults to the transition of a theme that was selected for the movie which we didn't select so it's on default you have dissolve you have slide you have wipe and you have fade and when you tap on these icons it actually switches the transitions for you and for example if you're on slide and you tap the icon more than once it'll change the direction of that slide whether it be from right to left up to down etc same with wipe dissolve doesn't have any options just one Fade has fade to black or fade to light. So either dark or light. You can control the length of the transition by tapping on the, the timing here. So half a second, second, 1.5, 2. But remember, your video clips will have to be at least long enough to cover that transition or else the system won't let you do it. You can turn the transition side effect off or on. I usually leave it off. And I usually leave it for 0.5. If you want to add a new transition, for example, let's go ahead and split this clip here by tapping on the actions icon, the scissors, and then tap and split. It's going to split that clip and give you a blank transition. So nothing there yet, but it has the icon. So if you want to, you can tap on it and you could do a slide or something. Let's go slide from bottom up. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. Of course, you'd want to transition from another video or another part of the video to make it more interesting, but you'll notice that it is coming from the bottom up. All right, let's add one here. Let's go ahead and split it. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go from here. And on this clip, I'm actually going to zoom in so it, the transition will look kind of interesting. And we'll go ahead and tap. And let's go ahead and add a slide transition. There we go. So let's have a look at that. Okay, you'll notice it slides in. And it's on the zoom clip. Let's change that to... Let's change that to fade to light. So it's kind of like a flash, yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's how you add and customize transitions. Okay, let me show you one last thing, one last transition of sorts. There's a way in iMovie to fade in from dark on a clip and to fade out at the end of the clip. And the way you're gonna do that is tap on the gear icon and you have two options here, fade in from black and fade out to black. So let's go ahead and select both. And what this is going to do is add that fade in here at the beginning. So you notice it fades in. And all the way at the end, you'll have the fade out. You can see it start fading. Alrighty. So those are the ways to do transitions in iMovie for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. I want to thank everybody for watching. As usual, don't forget thumbs up, hit that bell, subscribe, all that jazz. And we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.